Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I have with me 8 node MCUs and I'll be building a very simple mining rig using these node MCUs to mine Duino coins. Now these node MCUs have a micro USB port and I would need 8 micro USB cables as well to power them up. And I've got them right over here. So that's all we need for building the rig at the moment. Let's jump right into it. As the first step, we need to upload the ESP266 Arduino program to our Node MCU boots. Now if you're new to this video, I recommend you guys watch my previous video where I take you through a step-by-step -step process on how to start doing a coin mining using a Node MCU board. I would leave the link of that video in the description, however I would just give a quick run of the process. Head over to doinacoin.com and click on latest release and you can download the latest release by clicking on the source code zip file. Now recently the Dunacoin team came out with the 2.5.5 update which includes the pools and it also solves a lot of stability and mining issues especially with the ESP32 and the Node MCU boards. So go ahead and download the latest update. After you download that, head back to the home page and the team has also made some major improvements to the Dunacoin website. Now you can access the web wallet directly from the home page and you can either log into your existing Duino coin account or you can register a completely new Duino coin account from here. So that's all you have to do setting up a Duino coin account. Now let's proceed building our mining rig. So back in the code there are just four things that you have to change here. The place where you see Wi-Fi SSID is where you enter the name of your Wi-Fi network followed by which you have to enter the password of your Wi-Fi network. And in the Duco username is where you enter the username of your Duna coin account. And then you can give a rig identifier name to your board, which is not mandatory, but it's always advisable to give a rig identifier name, especially when you're building a mining rig. So that's all changes that you have to do here. You can hit upload and I'd be doing the same thing uploading the same code to 8 of my node MCU boards and the only thing that I'd be changing would be the rig identifier name where I'd be changing it from 01 to 08 for 8 of my node MCU boards. Okay so I've uploaded the code to 8 of these node MCU boards and they are actually mining Duna coins. Now these boards are powered by the micro USB cable where 4 of them are connected to this USB hub right over here and the rest 4 to my power bank at the moment. Now you can see there are a lot of these wires running around here and with so many of them, you know what's going to happen next. These are going to get tangled up eventually and I'm going to have a hard time untangling them. So as a part of keeping things organized, let's 3D print a simple frame to keep these node MCUs intact and make sure they don't move around unnecessarily and tangle themselves up. So let's head over to Fusion 360 and start designing our frame. So we are in Fusion 360 right now and I've designed a very simple frame that should look something like this when I 3D print it. Now this is designed in a way that four of my node MCU should fit right into the space you see on the lower panel and the rest four into the space you see on the upper panel. Now let's export this as an STL file and then later use Ultimaker Cura to generate the G-code file. So I'm using the slicing software Ultimaker Cura 4.9 version to generate the G-code file for this design. And I have an infill setting of 20% with a layer height of 0.2mm. I won't be going more into my print settings at the moment. Let's go ahead and slice this design. Okay, so it looks like it's going to take approximately 5 hours to print this design. Let's save it to the disk. And I hope this design turns out fine. And I'll be back in 5 hours. Oh, 
all right so we have the frame right here and it looks like the print turned out pretty decent let's assemble them and it fits perfectly into the slots great now let's start placing our node MCUs one by one so four of them goes into the space in the lower panel and the rest four on top okay so the node MCUs to fit in perfectly well and that's awesome now let's turn it on and give it a few minutes for these boards to get connected to the server and this frame should definitely keep these boards in place and avoid any mess in the future so now let's open our web wallet and see the status of our boards so we are in the doing a coin dashboard right now and under your miners you can see six of my node mcu boards are listed here at the moment two of them are yet to be listed and when i have eight of them i'll have a combined hash rate of 77 kilo hashes per second and that should mine me somewhere around 50 to 60 to win a coins in a day now another important thing is the power consumption so i did some calculations and i found out that eight of these node mcus if you run for an entire day is going to consume somewhere around 26 to 27 watts again these calculations are based on values i got from the net so if there's anything incorrect about it please do let me know in the comment section so with that said i hope you guys enjoyed this video as well if you did go ahead leave a like and if there are any suggestions about the video or anything else please do let me know in the comment section as well see you guys in the next video stay tuned for more awesome mining content happy mining